Hello folks, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Once again, this is L58, like it would be anyone else. Alright, so, now we go to find the airship, and we learn basically all there is to know about Setzer right now. And I just love how they how they set this up. What are you trying to prove? It doesn't sound like Setzer. Watch your step. Oh, I'd just love it if he <laughs> tumbled down. Something should happen to me, the Falcon's ears. Nonsense! I'll win the Falcon from you when I whip you in a race. Kind of remind you of like a Lando, Han Solo, only if Lando was a hot chick, whereas Lando is a smooth talking player of the galaxy. Alright, so back in the world of balance. Flying around in the airship, having a great time. Not a care in the world. No one can touch you. You're invincible. There's nothing like flying. Amen to that, brother. Stop lagging back there. Remember, the Falcon's supposed to be a faster airship. Maybe because it doesn't have a casino in its belly. But of course, your first airship, the Blackjack. I just think that sounds cooler, and it fits Setzer so much better. Falcon's a cool name too, but... I don't know. Around that time, Falcon was used up a lot. Well, I just remember it in the Power Rangers. God, oh, I was nerdy. I watched that until I was in 6th grade. Yes, I'll admit that. <laughs> Ever, dude. Tommy and Adam were awesome. I don't know if uh, you ever follow that, but Johnny Young Bosch, who uh, did the voice of, or who was Adam, the second Black Ranger, does a lot of the uh, voice work in a lot of anime and video games. In fact, he was uh, Nero, or Nero, in uh, Devil May Cry 4. He's been in the Tales games, he was Yukimara, Sanada, uh, in Warriors Orochi. I mean, pretty much, I mean, I am DBM, he's everywhere. Anyways. Back to the story. She tried to fly as high as possible, and we can just assume that she crashed, died, and uh, Setsa rebuilt the airship but couldn't bear to see it again. But now, it may be our key to restoring balance to this world. And this is my favorite scene in the game. It's coming out of the water, and booyah! <laughs> All right, so now we got the airship. Pretty much from here, you have no set story. You can go directly to Kefka's castle if you want. You can attempt beat it. Probably at this point, it'd be extremely hard. But uh, I, if you're properly equipped and you're experienced enough in RPGs, you could probably pull it off. But they, they give you this idea. This bird. For some reason, Celis is like, these birds, they're signs. So. Want us to follow that bird. <laughs> yeah, but why? You crazy bitch. <laughs> Man, that fall really hurt you. <laughs> so, airship goes into autopilot and takes us here. But we don't want to go here just yet. I mean, we could, but uh, there's other stuff I want to do. Like, let's go back to where we started in the world of Ruin. Come on, let's land. Because there's an Esper here. No, we want to go to the beach. All right, we get Parlador, uh, and that teaches you haste two and slow two and the regular haste and slow like twenty times and twenty time rate. Haste two is nice because it casts haste on everyone. That's useful. Slow two casts slow on everybody. That's useful too. And uh, let's go back to Terra because she said, uh, you know, just give me some time. Let me think about this. Let me think about this whole saving the world thing. All right, fine. Fair enough. 
So I also equipped uh, Celis with the uh, Soul Saber, so that's why she's going to be using like all the magic, because she can just get it all back uh, from one attack. Of course, it won't do any physical damage to your enemy, but, uh, you know. For right now, for, for her purpose, especially with the Genji Glove, she's attacking with the Atma weapon. I'm not too worried. It's more of she'll just attack when I'm not using magic. Or when I need MP. Like, Ooh, and we find a secret area! Hey, you guys! How you doing? Of course, no shock that, you know, Oh, hey, Setzer! Hey, Edgar! What's up? Because this is all completely optional. Sorry, I don't know how to handle this. She's pregnant. With your child. Man enough to put it in yet. Put it in her. You gotta be man enough to take it out. Uh oh. It's Baha Baba. <laughs> Pum Baba. Ah, oh, we must go stop him. <laughs> Alright. Pretty much same story as before. Uh, just do what you gotta do. Bio works again. Now, yeah, I want to give an, another shout out. I gave a, a shout out last episode, but I want to give give another one because uh, I can. Uh, Dragon Lord reviews. Uh, he's going through Final Fantasy IV. It's his first ever Let's Play, so I can relate since this is my first. And you know, hey, I think he's doing a pretty good job, and uh, I thought he deserved some uh, recognition. And I'll give uh, I'll. I'll give him his uh, spotlight in, in the comments. Uh, feel free to check him out. Uh, he has an excellent accent. He is Australian. and uh, I don't think he ever goes WTF, mate, but, you know, that's okay. <laughs> so, yeah, check him out. If you like him, subscribe, comment, show some support. Us LPers, we got it rough. <laughs> Not really. But, I mean, it. we, we do this for entertainment. So you just keep damaging him, and then after a while, he's going to uh, just like sneeze you all off. That's okay. Or he's gonna sneeze off like one or two characters or something. Yeah, Baba Breath. Right. I think he just knocks off the, the two most powerful characters or something like that. I don't know. All right, come on, Terra, let's go. We're running out of time in this episode. It's morphin' time. Pink fuzzy esper thingy. <laughs> All right. So now we fight Pahababa <laughs> with her morphed. Same strategy as before, but now she's morphed and she won't revert. Wow, isn't that awesome? I wish that happened more often. Uh, this should be pretty easy. It, it's almost. It feels like a tutorial battle if you've already found out his weakness. Because, I mean, Terra is, is godly morphed, and the fact that she won't revert makes her even better. You cast a. Uh, uh, never mind. <laughs> Just cast your bios. And a uh, chocobo. Yeah. But yeah, pretty easy fight. Just a little time consuming. Come on, come on. Let's, let's pick up the pace, come on. I don't even know what to talk about right now. All I wanted to do is end this. I'm running out of time, guys. There we go. Alright. So, running.